in order to help yourselves and myself included going through this financial crisis we have to learn to downgrade our lifestyle whether you like it or not you don't need the latest and the best you don't need to eat out every day you don't need to have a meal until you are full remember this the sunnah is to only have one third of solid one third of liquid one third of air maybe your financial capacity might force you to adopt the sunnah my brothers and sisters it is a sunnah even if you had money you're not supposed to be wasting so downgrade your lifestyle i'm being serious Many people are complaining out of fresh air. I can't afford my son's school fees. Well, where do you send him? Well, the fees is $3,000 a term. My brother, there is another school down the road where it is $300. You cannot collect zakat of the community in order to oil the fact that you would like to live up to the Joneses. Not at all. It's wrong. And don't ever you dare complain about financial difficulty when you have not downgraded that. No, it's an embarrassment. Well, if you think it's an embarrassment, then suffer the consequences of not being human enough to lower your level. Lower it. Lower it. You don't need to live on such a high level. I know people may not agree. Wallahi, it is fact. You have to agree. You have to downgrade. There's no harm. You have to downgrade. If you are struggling financially, take a look at the few dollars that you can save. Sit down and write, where have I spent my money? Take a look. This is unnecessary. That is un You will be shocked at, at how much you can save. And then you will see there are others who are really struggling. They have nothing. Subhanallah. And they are still thanking Allah. They will be there. What did you eat, my brother? I had one avocado. Allahu Akbar. I've heard this with my own ears. And they are happy. They are at salah in the same masjid you are sitting in. Subhanallah. And they are so excited. And another person is so upset and angry because he used to go out to eat five times a week. And now he can only go out once a week. And for him, that is an issue. And for this man with an avocado, he's thanking Allah that he had one avocado. Where are we? This is why going back, the hadith says, look at those who have less than you. Wallahi, you will always find that you are way above most others. Way above most others. We have such beautiful soil that we can grow our own fruits. A lot of us have our own fruits and veggies in our own gardens. How can you complain? You are lazy perhaps. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not let that happen to us. May we be from those who thank Allah and who downgrade, who look at others and who realize how fortunate we are. And you need to look at people around you who are struggling. Listen to the news and you will see those who were in riches are today not even in rags. They don't even know where they're going to go. I met a brother in the UK who was from Syria and he was one of the wealthy people. He left on a boat, subhanallah. He left everything behind him. He owned almost a street, a whole street. Everything gone. And his family was so divided that he did not know where members of his family were. And we think we have problems. Allahu Akbar. We think we have problems. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us.